ओके सो नाउ विल गो फॉर ऑपरेटर फॉर मोमेंटम ओके एरलियर वी डिस्कस ऑपरेटर इन कोऑर्डिनेट मोमेंटम स्पेस सो सिल्वर ऑपरेटर फॉर मोमेंटम सो दिस इज द ऑपरेटर फॉर मोमेंटम इन द मोमेंटम रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन द कोऑर्डिनेट रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो वी नो ऑलरेडी एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज गिवन बाय द ऑपरेटर सैंडविच बिटवीन ऑर्डिनरी वेव फंक्शन एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जिकेट वेव सो वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस सिंपल ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सब्स्टिट्यूट we are going to substitute 3.83 which is nothing but this equation from fourier transform fourier transform pairs fourier okay fourier transform so we will get so just to bring minus i as cross out okay your psi star psi star will become your pi star e power minus i p x by h cross correct your pi star e power minus i p x by h cross your d by dx is here okay so your d by dx instead of psi of x you can write your phi p dash by uh, p dash comma t e power i p x by h cross d p okay simple one now the same term here we return same term here also we have written the same term you just to differentiate with respect to x differentiate that will give you i p prime divided by h bar correct we will differentiate d by dx of this so you have to differentiate so when you are going to differentiate e power that will give you i p prime by h bar the same thing e power i p x by h bar is it okay now this i h cross h cross will get cancel okay this i into i i square minus 1 minus into minus plus so you have 1 by 1 by h cross is it okay i repeat i into i i square minus 1 so minus and minus plus h cross h cross will get cancel You have one h bar is here, correct? One h bar, so I can pull it out. P, you cannot pull it out because dp. We have to integrate with respect to so we cannot take it out this p out. Correct? Only h bar alone can be taken. So I have taken one by h bar. Is it clear? Remaining things. So you are five star of p of t dp, correct? And I have e power minus i p x by h bar and e power i p by x bar together we can write like this, correct? Together, these two things. Come on, e power i by h cross p prime minus p of x. Okay, together we can write one two pi one by divided by two pi is here. Is it okay? The reason is which we are going to see now. The same thing here, no change. Here also there will be no change. This can be written as exact like delta function. So just now we saw this one, correct? One by two pi h bar equals your delta function. Here it is one by two pi, so delta function should contain h bar. Is it okay? Come on, I repeat, one by two pi h bar is here. So totally we call this as delta function, but here we have one by two pi alone is there. So delta function multiplied by h bar. So don't forget. Okay? So this h bar and this h bar will be cancelled. Remaining term, you can write this term. You can write this term. Correct? When p becomes P prime as usual. P prime. It, so this will become one, and this term we have written like this. So P is sandwiched between your ordinary wave function and its complex conjugate, which is nothing but your expectation value. So what is this one then? What is this one? The operator for momentum in the momentum space is P itself. So this is the operator. Is it okay? P itself. And here, of course, x is given by this one. Don't forget. X. What is the x? X is a coordinate. Coordinate in momentum space is given by this. These are all momentum representation. Come on, I repeat. I just I differentiate these two things. See in ordinary representation, coordinate representation. What is a coordinate? X is a coordinate. What is the operator? P is the operator. Minus i gets cross d by dx del. So this is the ordinary one. Whereas in momentum representation, coordinate will be your i h cross d by dp, just opposite. Okay, i h cross d by d by dp your will be your will be your ordinate coordinate. Okay, and and the this one will be your operator, the p p the p itself. Okay, the operator for momentum in the momentum space is p itself. Then it out these two things. 
not the probability density just only one slide it's very important thing the concept goes like this just now we discussed about what are the value that we are going to obtain for coordinate representation will be the same as that of momentum representation we discussed we said just now we are going to prove this one so probability density is given by the product of these two ordinary wave function and its complex conjugate we know already so use this equation and substitute for your psi star you will get this substitute for your psi you will get this correct simple one multiply two times it will give you 1 divided by 2 pi h bar so this will be your pi star this will be your phi phi this will be your psi and that will be your psi star okay now just you are going to change the order of integration just change the order of integration we will see see just you collect these two e power i p x by h bar e power plus i p by h bar and you can write like this correct simple other thing finally you write it like this as it is what is this one h bar delta function this one h bar with delta function correct so when p becomes p prime that will give you answer as 1 so you will get pi star integration of pi star phi dp dp prime so remove the integral also you will get psi star psi that will give you pi star phi you can remove the integral and you can say doesn't matter you will get psi star psi which is equal to phi star phi so that is nothing but mod psi squared equal to mod phi squared correct mod psi squared equals mod phi squared mod phi squared mod psi squared is nothing but coordinate representation the probability density in coordinate representation mod phi is nothing but probability density for the momentum representation is it okay so both are equal both are equal so one answer if you want to get it you can get the another one which can be deduced from the other one so both are equivalent okay one is real space another one is k space you get that like uh, you have a diffraction for example if you want to study the crystal just pass the x rays correct right? you will get the image on that side this is the real one that will be in k space this is exactly equivalent both are both are equal okay the distance between these two points that will give you atomic uh, distance correct the same answer also you will get the same answer in k space so one is uh, ordinary real one another one is fourier space reciprocal space reciprocal lattice the same thing we will get the same answer okay ordinary representation coordinate representation which are e which is equal unto momentum representation is it okay now equations of motion so still we have two concepts are left out one is equation of motion then another one is derivation of schrodinger wave equation in momentum representation okay now equation of motion equation of motion very very important because how it evolves with the system any quantum state should evolve with the system okay it's very important thing it has to depend both position and time so we'll see the equation of motion in the momentum space can be easily obtained by differentiating equation 3.84 so we have 3.84 is here with respect to time t and multiplying by i h cross so we have this equation multiply on both sides by i h cross correct and i h cross okay so you have i h cross 1 by root 2 pi h cross 2 pi h bar and i h cross is here now you just take uh, i h cross d psi by dt we know i h cross d by dt is given by mm -hmm. given by kinetic energy plus potential energy we know already <coughs> okay the total energy is equal unto kinetic energy plus potential energy so instead of this i can write kinetic energy plus potential energy <coughs> you have the same thing i h cross d by dt the same part left hand side right hand side alone we have included kinetic energy and potential energy instead of total energy we have included these two simple idea now you just a separate gas plus is here just a separate so you have kinetic energy part is here and potential energy part is here correct so just a separate these two equation you will get kinetic energy part and potential energy part any doubt so just take the kinetic energy part now we are going to simplify just take the kinetic energy part the first part of equation 3.98 we are going to use the integration by parts 
So we are going to take the kinetic energy part. See, look at this one. We are going to take the kinetic energy part without minus h bar squared by 2m. We are going to take this to alone. So take this one. I am going to keep this as u, this as dv. Okay. So I will get this will be your uv using the formula uv. So u integration of u dv equals uv minus v du. So this will be your u and this will be your d by dx of your v will be d by dx of psi of x comma t. Is it okay? Your dv is here. So v will be one differentiation down. So that will give you d by dx psi of x t. See d psi by dx. Is it okay? Plus e power minus i p x as it is. Because this is u. What are the here? You will have minus v d u. Correct? So minus v d u. Your v will be same as d psi by dx. d psi by dx. What would your b u? d u will have to differentiate. Correct? d u will have to differentiate with respect to x. So that will give you i p minus i p by h cross. Already one minus is there. So minus minus you will get plus. The same argument that we have to say that psi and d psi by dx at infinite should disappear. So this term will become zero. The same argument which we discussed just now. Psi and d psi by dx should disappear at infinity. Psi should not be there. D psi should not be there. So this term will become zero. So you will get only this term alone. Correct? So this term alone. Again you just integrate with respect to x and by using integration by parts. Okay. So we are going to integrate again. This, this term is here. We are going to integrate this one by, by integration by parts. So this time u will be here, your dv will be here. The same argument. You will get uv minus vdu. The first uv part will go into zero. You will get only you will get only minus vdu. So that will be your ip by h bar squared. ip by h bar already one ip by h bar. So multiplied by another ip by h bar. The remaining term will be there. So you will have vdu. So we have kept this as dv. So v will be your this one. And du will be already we have differentiated. Okay. So you will get i squared will be minus 1. Correct. We will see. Uh, we know already minus h bar by 2. Together it is a term. Correct. Minus h bar square divided by 2m is a together it is a term. So you will have to multiply with minus h bar square by 2m and all those things. <coughs> so here you have p squared by h bar square. h bar square h bar will cancel. Your i squared minus 1 minus minus plus you will get you will get p squared by 2m. So you will have p squared by 2m. So total wave function will become exactly like this. So we have integrated only the first part alone. Okay, First part that is kinetic energy part alone we have integrated. And we have kept the second part, potential energy as it is. Is it okay? Simple. Now, we know already this equation. So, Fourier transform. You should, uh, you should not forget all those things. Very important. Fourier transform pairs, very, very important. So, we know already this. Now, you just keep uh, 1 by 2 pi. Okay, what I am saying is, this psi of x comma t e power i p x. Okay this term this term divided by 1 by 2 pi h cross this term this term can be written as pi of pt come on this term and 1 divided by root 2 pi h cross can be written as pi of p comma t so this term so p squared by 2 m pi of p comma t so similarly this term except v this term 1 divided by root 2 pi h cross can be written as pi of p comma t so your equation of motion becomes exactly like this. The equation 3.103. So your total energy which is equal to your kinetic energy and potential energy in momentum space. See, they are all in momentum space. So this is your equation of motion. So exactly it is equivalent. In uh, coordinate space, what is the equation? I h cross d by dt psi of x comma t psi of r comma t, correct? So which is equivalent to the same thing. There it is minus h bar square divided by 2m in terms of operators. Here it is p itself is an operator. So p squared by 2m. Is it okay? So this is in momentum uh, momentum space. The same equation we are going to we have already obtained.
So which is the equation of motion in the momentum representation. Okay, good, okay. Simple one. The last one, Schrodinger wave equation we are going to derive in momentum representation. So of course we know about uh, the Schrodinger equation, kinetic energy plus potential energy equal to total energy. <coughs> And the equation for a wave packet in one dimension is given by this equation. We know it. So as just now we discussed. Okay, this is about the Fourier transform pair. As I said, we have to learn by heart. Okay, so Fourier transform pair. This is psi x comma t, which is equal to this one. Now, now here we have d psi by dt. So d psi by dt just to differentiate with respect to time t. You will have minus i e by h cross. And remaining term will be there, correct? With respect to t, we are going to differentiate. So this this term alone can be should be differentiated, correct? So you will get this. We can substitute here. <coughs> Now we have we have d squared psi by dx squared. So we have to differentiate two times. So d psi by dx will give you with respect to x we have to differentiate, correct? So that will be your that will be your d psi by dx. Okay, we have differentiated i p x by h cross here. I p x by h cross. Earlier we differentiated with respect to t. You have minus i e by h cross, but this time we have differentiated with respect to x. So we will get i p x by h cross. This time, again you just differentiate. That will give you minus sign. So i squared minus one will be there. You have minus sign. P x by h bar whole squared. Is it okay? Remaining term will be let it be like this. So we have differentiated this, and we have differentiated with respect to time t only once. Just a substitute. We are going to substitute. Substituting for uh, del d squared psi by dx squared and d psi by dt. So this is the equation. So you will have minus h bar squared divided by 2m. Instead of d squared by dx squared, you have this term, this term, and plus b psi. See plus b psi. Which is equal to i h cross d psi by dt is given by the previous one. d psi by dt is given by this this expression. You substitute here. Is it okay? Now you bring this this term along to this side. That along b psi let it be like this because they have common terms. So that's the reason. Now look at this minus into minus that will give you plus. Correct. This h bar squared h bar squared will get cancelled. You have p squared by 2m. So p squared by 2m. Since we have <coughs> differentiated with respect to x, so p x squared by 2m. Is it okay? Now you just look at this term. H bar H bar will be cancelled. Your i into i, i squared minus 1. Already one minus is there. Yes. yes. So plus c will bring will be brought to this side. That will give you minus c. E. Other things are all come. So p x squared by 2m minus c. E. Other things we have written as common. Plus v psi, which is equal to zero. So this is the Schrodinger's one-dimensional wave equation in momentum space. Okay, is it okay? Simple one. So similarly, we can go for uh, three dimensions. So that's for a single dimension, one dimension piece. So we can go for three dimension. The same argument. We are going to go with uh, x, y, and z. That's all. So same argument. We have the Schrodinger equation. In ordinary representation, coordinate representation, and this is the Fourier transform of pair that we know already. We are going to differentiate with respect to t. We are going to differentiate with respect to x. We have already done earlier. We are going to differentiate this with respect to x two times. Okay, you will get this. Correct. We know already. We studied. Similarly, now we are going to differentiate with respect to y. So instead of p x squared, just substitute p y squared. That's all. Other things and all will be the same. Okay. So the next one will be we are going to differentiate with respect to z. So that will be your. Now we know already del squared psi equals d squared psi by d x squared plus d squared psi by d y squared plus d squared psi by d z squared. So put together that will give you this term. So you can add all those things. P x squared, p y squared, p z squared will give you this. This this is nothing but your p squared. Now I change p z of z here. You will get p z of p z z, but here p dot r because we have connected all x y z in three dimensions. So that's why I have written as p dot r. Okay, that's a change. So here layer p x here also p x here p y p z here it is p dot r because we have connected all those things. 
we have combined p x p y p z so that will give me p squared by h bar square <coughs> as usual you will have to substitute for del squared and d psi by dt in Schrodinger wave equation that will give you minus h bar square divided by 2m minus p squared we have already converted correct this will be minus p squared by h bar square the total term potential energy which is equal to your total energy now as the same argument h bar square as per well, will cancel minus minus will cancel your p squared by 2m p squared by 2m the same argument here h bar h bar will cancel i and i i squared minus 1 minus and minus plus so plus e will be brought to this side so that will give you minus, minus e minus e okay remaining same also so this is your starting just three dimensional wave equation in moment of representation okay so so far we have seen uh, the, the representations of any wave function that is the coordinate representation and the momentum representation okay so both both are arch rivals as i said okay is like uh, exactly like fourier transform pairs both are equivalent sometimes we can use this representation in some other models and that will be convenient to use momentum representation in some other model both the answers will be the same okay so we have derived the equation of motion and we have derived the schrodinger wave equation also okay so thank you students we'll see you in the next class bye students